Hey guys, Buxy and Dave here. Uh, I was just working some uh, smokeless loads with this. Uh, this is an Italian Sharps. I've had it for several years. It's 4590. You've seen it before. Uh, I like to work up smokeless loads too. Um, it's. I'm not trying to make a magnum out of a gun that's not intended to be a magnum. But there are times when it's more convenient to shoot smokeless powder. And uh, I'm not looking for any greater feet per second or, or anything like that. Uh, I'm just looking for the convenience. So the loads that I'm making are probably, well, this one is almost exactly what the, uh, what the black powder load would be. And uh, it's just a cleaner shooting thing. It doesn't have, I think the pressure is 15,000. Anyway, it'll probably be safe in most guns, um, especially modern guns. I have a few that I have built, uh, rolling blocks, and I shoot this load through it, and I believe it's safe for that gun. Um, but then again, I've gone through it. All the parts have been refurbished, and and they are uh, the guns. Are, the rolling blocks are made out of smokeless uh, or modern steel, which will hold smokeless. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm working on, this one's an Italian Sharps, um, and I'm building a Sharps right now, and uh, waiting for parts, back to that game. Anyway, come on in the shop and I'll show you how far I got. So the last time you saw this, uh, that action was screwed onto a piece of aluminum that I... Uh, that I threaded just to make sure everything was going to work out good before I threaded the barrel. And uh, so now it is actually threaded on to the barrel. And the barrel is still in the lathe. It should be out of there, but uh, I'm renting a um, 5090 chamber cutter. The chamber reamer and uh, it's not here yet and I just got a email that it might be a week to ten days out so unless I need this lathe I'm gonna leave that right there so it's still in the same position that I faced off the shoulder and and, uh, and threaded it it's all in the same positioning so when I put that chamber reamer in there it'll be perfectly uh, perpendicular to this face here so that's waiting I also before I put it in here like this I also uh, finished and crowned the barrel and I took off probably took off some metal the guy was really good about giving me a lot of metal on the fat end so when I took it off it took off more weight then I had to take a little off of the other end and then with that other deal, I think I've got this barrel down. The shipping weight was nine pounds, so I'm figuring the barrel was just under that. Uh, I probably got this barrel down to about seven and a half pounds. So that's going to be seven and a half, seven and three quarter pounds. With the rest of the rifle on there, that's going to be a really nice weight for this rifle. It'll probably be about ten and a half pounds. And that'll be just perfect for this 50 cal. Anyway, um, Let's talk about the 5090 for a minute. Because um, once I start doing this chamber, I wanted a couple of bullets put together that I can. And these are black powder loads. Um, I don't, I don't like working with a smokeless load on something unless I can load one and shoot it, and load one and shoot it, and work my load up that way. That's probably the safest way to go. Um, but I made some bullets here. This is Lyman's Mold 51541. 515414. Nope, I take it back. 515141. And it's a uh, pretty nice bullet. It's uh, got a little flat tip. This bullet was probably meant to be shot in 1886 because it has a flat tip on it and the flat tip would go up against uh, the primer without without causing a problem 
Anyway, uh, I starting with this bullet. It uh, the book calls it 422 grains, an old book that I have, and the newer book puts it in the 425 grain. However, with my lead mix that uh, I I worked up, it weighs just under 450 grains. So um, that's what it's going to weigh. That's a good bullet. Now this is a 4590 or a 45 um, sharps or a 45 two and a half, whatever you want to call it. But the interesting thing about it is, with this bullet, because it's shorter, it's only 450 grand. It's not like 500 or 600. Some of the bigger bullets that they shot out of here. With those bigger bullets the bullet goes into the case more and it sticks out further. So it made it not suitable for a lever gun because it wouldn't feed and it went down deeper so you can only put 90 grains maybe of powder in it or maybe even a little less. That Thus the 4590. I found that one of these, this one here, let's see, this one here has a hundred grains of powder in it. This one here has 110 grains of powder. And what it boils down to, with this bullet, I can get 110 grains in here, making it a 45-110 um, or 45-100. I don't know which one's going to shoot best, so I don't know which one it's going to be. But with this bullet, because it's shorter, I can get more powder in it. <clears throat> and, uh, and then if I want to go to a bigger bullet, I can't see where anything that I'm going to hunt with it going to require a bigger bullet than a 450 grain bullet. So um, when they made the 45 110, I believe what, or I keep saying 45, I'm an old 45 90 guy, okay? When they made the 50 um, 110, um, they also made another bullet that's even smaller than this one for a lever gun. And I believe they called that the express load. And you can get a lot of powder. You can get 110 grains, maybe a little bit more powder in here with that smaller bullet. It'll still work in your lever gun. The thing that's going to be the limiting factor for me, I think, on this bullet, this bullet will probably work. I don't think I'm going to want to go too light of a bullet because got a, this has a, according to this, 24 twist. That's a little bit fast, okay? So it might be for a longer bullet, I'm not sure. I'll have to try it. I'm pretty sure this bullet is going to shoot good out of it because a friend of mine has one and his shoots really well out of it. Um, but I don't think I can go much shorter than this with a 24 twist. So anyway, it's kind of an interesting thing. It's the 5090. Um, it's the 50 sharps. It's the 52 and a half. It's all the same case. Um, and it's marked 50. What's it marked? It's marked 5090 sharps. But depending on the bullet you put in it, it could be a 5110, it could be a 5100. So, something to keep keep track of. And I, I'll probably work up a smokeless load for this too. Um, like I say, I'm not trying to get magnum velocities out of anything. I pretty much want to get about the same velocity because usually the black powder velocity is usually the most accurate velocity anyway. It's just a different chemical push in it and uh, sometimes it's convenient to not have to uh, not to have to mess with the, the black powder fouling and so I may uh, I may work up a load like that but this is going to be a black powder gun and because I like shooting black powder so anyway uh, I'm working on a part over here um, I'll show you where I'm at with the uh, other part of the receiver these guns were made when machinery was becoming more prevalent in gun making and less uh, hand done stuff. Um, and this one is, uh, we're making this one, um, it's going to be kind of a buffalo-ish type style rifle. Um, I found this stock, <laughs> this piece of wood I found this thing on the internet and it is cut perfect because they're cut with machines and our machining today is even 
way better than the ones before. I think the ones in the old days, they probably got it close and then the gunsmith fitted the parts in there. I was thinking that this one was going to have to be fitted, but geez, it's just really tight. And what a plus. The picture of the butt plate wasn't on, um, wasn't on the internet. I didn't think it was, how to, I couldn't find a butt plate. I was having trouble finding one. I couldn't find one. This one's got one. It came with it. So it's just like a super deal. Uh, I'm not sure which way I'm going to go to finish it. I, I'm waiting for a piece of wood, a block of wood that I've ordered for the front. And it'll have that schnabel type front on it. And uh, when I get that, we'll see what that wood looks like. And then I'm going to have to make the two match. So we'll go from there. But I just thought that was a great find for this rifle. So, and then that action that I bought came with uh, this extractor. And I think it was probably a 45 caliber, like 4570, 4590 size extractor. So I bought one from the uh, same place I got that stock, actually. And it, and it came in its cast. <laughs> and so I've been working with it. <clears throat> It is a very poor cast. It has a lot of bumps and stuff. But I've been working on it a little bit at a time with the file. And uh, we'll get it down to where it'll be. It'll be functional. Um, but that's what I've been doing is little stuff like this, piddling, waiting for that. I made some uh, bullets, but like I said, I don't really want to make any more. So I've been shooting the, uh, I've been shooting the, the sharps and uh, the Gamera a little bit, and both in black powder and uh, smokeless, just to kind of have some fun until this one's done. But, man, I'm waiting for parts. And what am I doing? I'm building it at Christmas time, okay? It's Christmas Day tomorrow. It happens to be Christmas Eve right now, so Merry Christmas, okay? It's Christmas Day tomorrow, man. Nothing's coming in the mail anymore for a while. You add COVID onto it, so we're waiting for stuff. As soon as that tool comes, that'll get finished, and I'm waiting for the buttstock, and it seems to get gotten lost somewhere in Pennsylvania. So I'm waiting for that piece of wood, and then I'll be able to put this thing together, and we're going to make some 50 caliber holes. This is America's original 50. Well, the 45, or correction, the 50. If I said 45 anywhere on this thing except where I meant to, I meant 50, okay? Uh, the 5070 was probably the original. 50 cal other than muzzle loaders but cartridge guns but uh this uh this 5090 is going to be a fun gun to shoot so anyway i don't have much for you because like i say i don't have anything to work with so um i'll catch you next time merry christmas to y'all just have a great day tomorrow and or today depending on when i set this up into the <laughs> into the YouTube deal. But anyway, you guys get the drift. A Buckskin Dave, have a great day. Thanks for dropping in. Bye-bye.